What is going on everyone? I hope you're all doing well. I'm glad to have you here. And in this video, I wanna do a trade recap on two trades I took last week at the same time, GBP USD and Euro USD, both the A1 ASFX entries, same trigger signal across the two pairs. I took advantage of both of them. And I wanna show you how I did my analysis, got a tighter risk to reward, and how I combined both the ASFX A1 and D1 systems together to, like I was saying, build that better risk to reward profile so I can kind of get more out of the trade. I'll put a link in the bottom of the description so you guys can go check out the systems I trade and get some more information on that. The systems that made me consistently profitable. So in this video, we're gonna review them, review the entry signals, and I'll take you through my analysis. So today is currently Sunday the 1st of August, and we're just gonna go back on historic data to when I took the trades on TradingView, and we're gonna go through my analysis of how I took these trades. So let's start with GBP USD. And as you can see, I already have the trade marked up over here. So I used the replay tool. Let's just go over to the trigger signal that got me involved into this trade. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is the EMA. So with the ASFX systems, we trade with five exponential moving averages along with the TDI indicator at the bottom here. So with the exponential moving averages, just to give you a brief overview, they basically smooth out price action, they act as dynamic support and resistance, and they can be significant levels in the market. They also help represent the trends in the market, and you can get an idea of the biggest story the market is trying to tell you. So one thing I would like you to notice is the yellow line, which is the eight exponential moving average, um, the red line, which is the 21, the, fifth, uh, the blue is the 50, the white is the 200, and the dark blue one down here is the 800 exponential moving average. And one thing I'd like to bring your attention to is as you notice this black box over here as well. So this whole box over here, this is the Asia session range. If you're with ASFX, you understand all this. Basically, the Asia session range is the times the Asia market is open. So Sydney, Tokyo, up to London, then the London, New York cross, and then the New York, and then it rolls over. The first thing I noticed on GBP USD is the 8 and 21 EMA never cross for the whole trading day. So during the Asia session, they never crossed below each other. So when I mean crossed, you see how they crossed over here? Basically, that's what I mean. So the end of the um, trading session before I took the trade on um, this new trading day, you can see the eight shifted above the 21 and above the 50 exponential moving average. They fanned out and then they held above fanning out quite nicely throughout the whole Asia session trading day, which means it's a very strong short term trend. So when it came to my charts, I was looking for buying opportunities. One thing I'd like to notice as well with the TDI indicator, so the traders dynamic index, it basically gives you market sentiment. Above the 50 value, I'm looking for longs. Below the 50 value, I'm looking for shorting opportunities. So the first thing to me I saw was L50, perfect in the buying zone all day. EMAs fanning out, strong short-term uptrend. And then I saw RSI go overbought at this point over here. It broke out of the edge of range, which means there's momentum coming in. So it broke out of this range. And then it pulled back to the 21 EMA with this massive bar coming off it. So we are on the 15 minute chart on GBP USD as well. So we saw this massive bullish candle, which is the biggest candle of the day, which technically signifies that that candle is overextended. But because we were already out of the Asia range, I can technically take these candles in my trading system. If this candle was, for example, <clears throat> let me just go back a few. If let's say this was the chart and we had this massive candle overextended, pull up like that first break of the Asia range, I, I can't trade in my trading plan. I simply can't take advantage of that signal. So coming forward, if we just fast forward this a bit, you can see price broke out and then came back in, retested the 21 exponential moving average with a strong body off the 21. Now putting probabilities into our favor, the first thing I'd like you to see is the RSI is in overbroad, it's above the 80, uh, 70 value, which signifies that the RSI is um, overbroad, price is overbroad, which means it's overvalued. And that could signify a pullback. So as it did go overbroad over here, we saw that pullback. And then once again, we got that massive uh, bullish bar off the 21. The next thing I was looking for is to combine the ASFX D1 entry. Now, what that means is the D1 entry is taking advantage of a pullback on the one minute chart. So if we jump to the one minute chart, 
you can see that the L50 was climbing into the buy zone at the time of this overextended candle. So this candle basically is 15 minute, one minute candles on the one minute chart. So looking at this, what I was waiting for next is a pullback to the one minute 50 exponential moving average. As you can see, we hit broke below the 50 exponential moving average on the one minute, and then we broke back above it with a one minute candle. That is when I took my entry. Now, coming back to the one minute, uh, the 15 minute chart, with the ASFX systems, we had our stop loss down here, and then the target I was aiming for was ADR high. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a, like a green line up here. So ADR represents average daily range. Now, what happens is with the average daily range, more times than not, price will hit this level and come back down. It's the max move over the last five days that price has um, gone to. So over the past five trading days, you can see these yellow lines, price has kind of moved up to those um, points and then kind of bounced off or reacted to those lines. And then it's calculated five, five trading days and it gives you your average daily range. So this trade was just over three R um, risk to reward. And as it played out, I ended up closing my position at 1.5 R. So I actually closed my full position here because once again, doing high time frame analysis on the daily, looking left, there was this zone in here that I knew price could respect. If we come back to the 15 minute, you will see that red line I put in. You can see on the 15 minute, we had that indecision candle and we couldn't break above that level. So I took my complete um, position off at 1.5R and you can see that price started to react to that level, came back down to my entry price almost. And then we held the 8 EMA, couldn't break below the 21. And then price ended up moving higher as the day went on. Now this could have been a trade I could have held a lot longer, but based on my risk management um, rules and what my system tells me to do, um, if price broke the eight exponential moving average, I would have closed the position anyway. As we know, if price breaks the eight EMA, it can usually come down to the 21. If it breaks the 21, it can go to the 50. So I took a safer conservative entry uh, targets at 1.5R. So for ASFX members out there, if we do see an overextended candle on the 15 minute, if it isn't the first break of the Asia range and everything else lines up, the only knock against this trade was that the RSI was overbrought. And just real quickly, I do wanna mention that there was bearish divergence building as that entry candle um, presented itself. So you can see that it was tapped at that. And then if you bring this up, you can see that it would have been up to ADR max at divergence line. So this was another reason for me to take profits at 1.5R as I didn't want to hold it with that divergence building on the 15 minute. So now coming over to EURUSD, I already have my whole markup still on here and we'll just bring it back to the entry. So I split my risk over two entries on EURUSD. So it was a B setup for me, both GBP USD and Euro USD were B setups. And basically what I was looking for was the exact same thing, the exact same movement. It was an ASFX A1 entry, strong bar off the 21 EMA, L50 in the buy zone all day since the Asia session. Price broke out of the Asia range. Price pulled back to the 21 EMA. We got that strong bar. And once again, I took entry at the close of the candle. And I also, coming back to the one minute, I took another entry. Actually, sorry, I got my second entry on there. So you can see my second entry is just here. So I split my risk. I put half the risk on the first entry and then I put the second half of my risk on the second entry. Same concept, one minute, 50 EMA retest. That's when I entered my other position. So at this time, 1.5R, I took 50% off and I moved both my entries in profit um, with my stop loss. So it was a risk-free trade at this point. I secured some money and I also put my um, stop loss into profit so I couldn't lose any more money on this trade. And as it came back down and broke the 50 exponential moving, um, the eight exponential moving average, sorry, 
Um, that's when I was fully out of the trade because more times than not, if price does break the eight exponential moving average, it can come down to the 21, the 50, etc. So once again, this was another trade I could have probably held if I didn't move my stop loss. And as you can see, it did move up throughout the rest of the trading day. And then eventually just consolidating um, into the next trading day. I recently filmed a video about holding um, profits for longer. I'll put the link up there. You can go check that out. But one thing I would like to mention in these recaps is I don't personally like taking losses. So I'm very quick to secure my position. Now, sometimes you got to be comfortable with price coming down, stopping you out and then heading off in your direction. If you are one of those traders that can't handle that or you don't like managing your trades that way, then simply create a new risk management strategy. You gotta remember your trading needs to resemble your personality. If you're one of those traders that like securing massive wins and getting those runners, then manage your trades accordingly to that. So you wouldn't wanna be moving your stop loss too early. If you are a trader and you don't like taking losses because it hinders your trading results because it affects your trading psychology, then secure the money so you only take very small losses or break even at most. So you just gotta find what suits you, suits your personality and fits right with you. Hope you guys got some value out of this video. If you did, I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get notified for any future content I release. If you're still with me to the end of this video, I appreciate you being here and I'll see you in the next one.